It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. Okay, so this is for October. It's being recorded in September, but I really want to stress the importance of October. Okay, so you're probably going to watch this now. This is a preview. Okay, this is intended for October, so... I would suggest that you save it and watch it again in October. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know what I wanted to say, and I don't know why, is I hope you're not dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't know why. It was on the tip of my tongue. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, it feels like things are going to blow up. And I don't know why. What do we have for Capricorn for the month of October? Abundance. Wow, that's great. I mean, that is fantastic. Abundance is wealth. Okay, abundance in health, abundance of things, having plenty. Um... This is all about your abundance in some way. You know, abundance isn't just things. Abundance comes from within. Something is blossoming for you. Um, you may have manifested something, okay? Abundance can come in the form of money, but not always. Sometimes abundance is great health. Abundance is having everything you need plus plenty, okay? So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? I feel like there's going to be something that happens that is very unpredictable. I do. I feel like there's something unpredictable that is about to happen. It's, uh... You may be dealing with somebody that sweeps problems under the rug. Could be you. Now, these readings can go vice versa. So, if you are the cross watcher right, watching this, this reading could be for you. I think we have somebody here that is heartbroken. Six of coins. This is receiving something. You may be receiving some money, some payout, a new job. Uh, somebody could be giving you something. They could be giving you a gift. I mean, this is abundance. This is giving, receiving. You're going to be receiving a gift this month. It could come in the form of anything okay it could have to do with your health it could have to do with money it could be both whatever it is this is this is great this is great this is from somebody that is very generous somebody's going to be giving you something okay this is absolutely a gift that you are receiving it looks good What, what do we have for Capricorn? You know, I want to keep saying Sagittarius. I don't know why. One more card. Capricorn. There it is. Hills. Obstacles to overcome. So you are going to have to overcome some obstacles. Some challenges to get to that abundance. There's going to be some challenges, but it looks like you're going to overcome them feeling tied down or frustrated. So that's where you've been, right? Basket, recognition, reward for merit. You're going to get some sort of reward for your hard work. You absolutely are. You're going to overcome some sort of obstacle that has been keeping you uh, frustrated. Okay? You're going to be recognized and you're going to get some sort of reward. So this is good. It is good. This is abundance. It really is. You're going to, whatever it is that you're waiting for, you're going to get it because you're going to overcome this. 
hard work is gonna maybe a challenge though I mean to cross a mountain is challenging so you are it's, you're gonna be facing some sort of challenge Ooh, so this is a win you're gonna win you're gonna win some sort of battle you're gonna be the victory you're gonna be the victor okay you're gonna succeed so you are going to succeed in whatever it is that you're doing you may have been fighting a battle you may have been struggling to be recognized you are definitely gonna be recognized for your hard work this month you are this hermit is a time of introspection you may need time to reflect on whatever is happening completely go within plan your next move you may be realizing your true identity at this time some and this could be somebody else as well that is seeing your uh, dedication, your devotion, somebody's going to be seeing it. This is a very wise individual that, this could be a counselor or somebody that is, um, has a lot of knowledge. This is somebody that is very knowledgeable, that appears to see something in you. So you're going to be getting something. This, and I feel like this is the person that is giving it to you. And you had to do it by yourself. There was nobody that could do it for you. You are going to be victorious. Whatever it is, whatever battle you've been fighting, you're about to win. Okay, you're about to get the reward of your hard work. King of Cups. This is somebody, and I don't know if this is a doctor or a counselor or somebody like that. It's somebody that is very intuitive. Uh, King of Cups. Somebody that is very feeling. Caring. Kind. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is something not working out. Overwhelmed, over, over. Now, I don't know if some of this, some for some of you, this may have to do with your weight. If you've been trying to lose weight, you've been holding on to weight. You haven't been putting in much effort. So this could be support. There could be some support that is coming. Now this is overwhelmed, dropping, dropping it, needing to drop, needing to drop a burden, needing to drop baggage. Balance is waiting. You just have to drop this weight. So you're going to drop some sort of weight. This is not working hard enough, not putting in effort. This is enlightenment. Coming up with a plan and following a plan and setting a goal. I feel like this month you are setting goals to be victorious. You're setting goals. You're going within, using your intuition. I feel like there this this king of cups I feel like this is another person. Okay, I feel like there is somebody that is going to be helping you. This is somebody that has a really big heart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be a Virgo, but there's somebody here that is going to help you to succeed. Ah, 7 of Swords. Now this is self-deception. Uh Sneaky behavior. So there's some sort of sneaky behavior here. Um, you need to adapt. You need to adapt to something. You can't keep going back to your old ways. It feels like there's something you were doing in the past that you keep going back to. You need to you need to listen to advice. You need to come up with another plan. You need to re-identify. You can't keep going back to things that didn't work out that were holding you down. And I think that you're realizing, because that's a realization, you're realizing that there's another opportunity here. And I think that you're you're finding a way to reach your goals this month. This is like the Seven of Swords is something about getting away with not putting in effort. 
somebody's been getting away with it. They've been getting away with not putting in any effort, not trying hard enough, but they've been getting away with it. But now it's about time to master your emotions. You need to master your emotions and, and it's like find your self-control, your self-discipline. So this month you are going to be finding the discipline to succeed. Hmm. Becoming wiser. Something has made you wiser. Ah, Nine of Swords reversed. Mm. Nine of Swords reversed. That's guilty. You're, you're giving deep thought to something that isn't good for you. I feel like you maybe you feel ashamed or you're or maybe you're guilty of self-deception or you're guilty of repeating negative patterns. And I think you have repeated negative patterns. See the patterns? You've been repeating those patterns. I think you have. But I feel like this month you're you're finding a way. It's like you've become enlightened. It's like you you come up with this plan to overcome and you get recognized for it. Maybe for some of you, some of you may have a drinking problem. I'm not sure that, not sure. I mean, not everybody does, but um, there could be some drinking going on here. Um, interesting. Ooh, the lovers, unexpected choice. Now that is a choice. It's a choice between two. You're going to have to make a choice this month. Whether it's good for you or not, you may be, it looks to me as though you're being given an opportunity. You're being given an opportunity to uh, go back to your old ways or move forward. You have to make a choice. You do have to make a choice. The, the lovers is a card of consequences. There's consequences for making poor decisions. I feel like you're giving deep thought to a connection this month as well. Some of, for some of you, this has to do with your health, but for others of you, it has to do with a connection or, or both, or both. You may have a love connection here where there's a lot of, there's a deep sexual connection with this person. And I think that you're giving a lot of thought to this connection. Maybe there's some cheating going on or you're suspicious of some, some cheating. Maybe your gut is telling you that because your intuition is speaking to you, I can tell. I think your gut is telling you that there's something going on behind your back and that's why you're so suspicious. I feel, feel like you are suspicious. You're su suspicious about somebody. And maybe that's the obstacle that you ha have to overcome. I feel as though you, you're, you, you may have some sort of regrets. You may have definitely some worries. Worries about deception, cheating, whatever. You may be worried about somebody deceiving you. I feel like uh, something isn't quite working out and it's weighing you down because I feel like your intuition is telling you that something isn't right and I think that it, you are correct. I feel like you are working really, really hard to build yourself up. You're, you're doing everything that you can to uh, be secure. I feel like uh, you're trying to be responsible. You are responsible. You're working really hard. Um, you're using your common sense. You're definitely setting goals this month. You're being very practical, but I feel like somebody is lying to you. I do. I feel like, and I think that you know it, but you're, you may not want to believe it. Somebody's lying to you. You could be dealing with somebody that is guilty of having another partner. Not, and this could go vice versa, like I said. I feel like there is an opportunity to build up security. 
but there's a lot of worry here. I feel like you're worried. You're extremely worried. Now, I'm not I'm not sure if it's tr I'm not sure if it's true. This is extremely worried. Extremely worried about a connection. You know, I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that has a connection, and maybe it's a spiritual connection or some sort of a work connection or something with somebody and you're worried about it. Jealous maybe or you just don't trust this person. There's distrust here. I feel like you, um, maybe you've been fighting. If you have been, I think the fighting will probably end. I think that whoever you are dealing with um, is, is uh definitely sneaky <laughs> you are they are sneaky which is because this is very sneaky this this person is sneaky but it looks like they are watching you it looks like they're watching you they want to know they what they're wondering what you were they they're wondering what you're gonna do they're wondering what you are gonna do this is like running into a connection as well you may run into somebody out of the blue just saying and and I don't like this is like serendipity you're not even looking where you're going so somebody may be running into somebody they're not looking where they're going okay they just it's like you you're walking down the street or walking down a hall or you're walking somewhere and whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with and there's as you just like run into each other okay somebody could you know they're 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 not paying attention and they run into each other so there could be a like a run in with somebody and there's like it's like there's an instant attraction with this person it's instant and then it's like oh my god and and it could be you or the person that you're dealing with this is like a moment of despair it is. It's a moment of despair because now you got to make a choice because there's some sort of deep connection. This happened all of a sudden, so this that could that could happen for some of you. This person that you run into is probably a water sign or a Virgo. It's either a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Gemini. That's who I think it is. Um, I feel like you will feel an instant connection with this person. Um, if you haven't met, I don't think you've met this person yet because I feel like it's a run in. I feel like you, you're not looking where you're going and you, you know, when that happens sometimes, like you're in the hall, you know, uh, you're in the grocery store and you're, you're not, you're looking at something and you're still walking and you run into somebody or, uh, that's just an example. You know, you could be anywhere and that could happen. Um, you're definitely not looking where you're going. So you're going to run into somebody this month. Okay. You are. I feel like this is a golden opportunity for you. Um, something may not be working out where you're at, and now you uh, have to think about what just happened. This is interesting. Now, this could also be, um, this is like, you know, because this six of coins, this is a gift. This is some sort of, uh, you're receiving something from somebody that is going to bring you balance in your life. It's something that you deserve. It could even be money. It could be money from somebody. I wonder, I mean, I don't even, this could even have to do with being you know, a payout of some sort because of a run-in. You know, sometimes people, you know, they get into a car accident and then they get some sort of payout. I don't know. There's some sort of payout here, whether it's an actual blessing in a, in the form of money or it's some other blessing. You're going to get some sort of blessing. You, you're going to be, I think you're going to be falling in love with somebody or, or you're going to be deepening a connection with somebody that you were probably, you're going to be, that you were unsure about. This is unsure, very unsure. It's like, why, why, why? Is this really the one? Yes, this is the one. But I do feel as though there is somebody here that is 
that it's not working out with as well. You know what I mean? Because there's a choice between two. There is a choice between two. Um, so this is very interesting. Ooh, let's just file over. Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is a power struggle. Okay, so I feel like you are definitely going to be struggling with a decision. I think it's a lose-lose situation. You know, uh, somebody's probably going to get hurt. They probably are. Somebody's going to get hurt. When you have to choose between two, somebody gets hurt. Which is interesting. I think that uh, there's going to be some sort of heartache. There's going to be some sort of rejection here that leads to a gain. Okay? It does lead to a gain. Um, I feel as though you have been weighed down by... Somebody that didn't treat you very well. This person didn't treat you very well. They may have abused you. Maybe it was mental abuse or verbal abuse or belittlement. This, somebody, this person belittled you. Now this person is all smug. It's almost like they think that you'll never leave. Now you've got this other opportunity you do have another opportunity here. It's not the one that cheated on you or the one that you fought with all the time. The one and now the one now that you have this opportunity, it feels like the one that you fought with all the time doesn't want you to doesn't want to let you go or doesn't want you to let them go. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is about to come out of hiding that has been very quiet. I feel like this person has been very quiet. Now they recognize your value. Somebody recognizes your value now. And it's like now they're looking back at you. Now that you have connected with somebody else you have a connection here this is a soulmate connection with not the one that you fought with all the time the one that you fought with all the time that belittled you and maybe they belittled you for your weight or they somebody had weight problems and I don't know if it's weight or or they didn't want you because of your weight or or because of the burden or the baggage that you came with and the baggage could be anything Okay, and they may have picked on you because of whatever. It's like now, now they want to build with you or something like that. And it's like it's not working out. It's not working out. So this is interesting. But you're going to be getting some sort of reward. And you're going to have to make a stressful choice between these two people. Oh my god. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. This is a this is a breakthrough. It's a new day. A new life. This is this is a blessing. I knew you were going to be getting a blessing. You're going to be blessed with some sort of gift that op, that that this is a this is a this is a gift of a new life. This is a life-giving energy. Somebody could be getting pregnant as well. So if you're at that age, you may hear news of a pregnancy that changes everything. It could be a child, a new child that is coming. Anyhow, we do have a new beginning here. It's a beautiful new beginning. For if you are not in the childbearing age, you just have a beautiful new beginning where you will be accepted. Your health is going to improve. This is a very healing energy. Some of you may be going to a warm place. You may be moving to a warm place, traveling.
there's a soulmate connection here where uh, there's a lot of happiness to be had. I think that you are going to be very happy with, with, with whatever you receive. You could receive approval for something. Okay? There is some sort of approval. So, or or a gift or a loan or money or payout or something like that. That's going to make you extremely happy. There's also being broken free. You're going to be broke because this is freedom. You're going to be broken free from something. You're going to be broken free from something that was very hostile. It was weighing you down. It was uh, heavy. Heavy. I think you, there was a lot of tension. You were dealing with a lot of tension by staying in this environment. And I think that you are are moving out of this environment and you're going to be building a new foundation and a new life someplace else. Whatever is happening, this is beautiful. This is extremely happy. It really is. This is extreme happiness. This is this is beautiful. I mean, this is enlightenment. It's love. Affection. This is a new start in love. It really is. So this is this is a very warm, beautiful uh, connection. Okay, it is. So you're going to be deepening a bond this month with somebody that I don't think you expected. You're going to be, you may say one last goodbye to whoever this person is that uh, took you for granted. But I do see you starting a new life with somebody. You're making big, big, big progress this month. You, you may have a little bit of stress, but I think the stress is going to dissipate really, 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 really fast. I think your obstacle to overcome is fear that the person that you are dealing with is cheating. Let go of that fear or that that, that person is deceiving you. The new person. The new person. Trust them. Have faith. There could be a renewal here. There could be... Uh, well, there's a new start in love. Put it that way. This is beautiful. It is. This is a, this is a very... Uh, it is a month of abundance and love. In receiving, you're going to be receiving an abundant amount of love and happiness this month. Okay? Congratulations. As far as the Sagittarius goes, <laughs> who knows? 